you have to understand one thing that when you're going to work on any project when you're going to work on the tap when you're going to build architecture when you're going to build a smart contract when you're going to design the data structure on the blockchain when you will get it from there or simple backend where you're going to store the data in the backend about the user about the transaction hash then you have to have a basic understanding of data structure like you cannot be a developer without basic understanding of data structure that how data structure work how you can design it the one suggestion i would give you that you don't need to be master you don't need to be master at all those who are telling you to be master in data structure first and then you will get and become a blockchain developer just don't give a that focus on those kind of things you have to have a basic understanding about the data structure like if you are learning javascript you have to know that how javascript work how you can able to manage data because when you will get the data from the back end or any api or when you going to manage the data from the blockchain which is coming to you then you going to design the data in such a way which can increase the performance of the application and user can get the data in the fast and uh, that the data they actually want it so in that way you have to have a basic understanding of data structure in javascript only that much understanding is sufficient for you to start your learning you don't need to sit and start focusing on data structure learn about the curve learn about the algorithm you don't need to do that if you go in that way the process is very long and you will be in huge mess because you will learn when you will actually develop a real world project it doesn't matter how big or small project is when you will develop when you going to apply those formula those technique which you are learning then you will build and then you will learn then you will get confidence to work on any project whatever you are building try to understand that how data is flowing how the data structure is designed in case of web3 development we have multiple providers who give different endpoints so what i do i try to look at their documentation that how they have designed how they are managing the data what data they are giving me as a user which i'm utilizing in my front end so in that way i can understand okay these are the things that are happening so i can replicate the similar kind of a structure when i'm going to work a full fledged project so in that scenario you have to know ultimately you have to be smart you have to be smart if you know how to figure it out then definitely it would be easy for you and that's the most important thing you don't need to sit and write every single thing from scratch the material is already there you need to have a skill of finding the right material and integrating in your project if you good enough in that you can easily to build the application so you are not here to give exams you're not here to sit in a competitive exam where you're going to showcase your skills of data algorithm and data structure you need to build project So when I want to hire someone for my agency or any project I never look at their achievement that what they have achieved like how many competition they have win in data structure I need a person who can build me application this is the project came to me and I gave it to him and he has to complete it I'm not going to see that how he is very good in data structure I want the application to be ready So you have to be ready to build project the more project you will build the better understanding you will have and once you have this skills you can easily able to understand this like this data structure and all of this big names is there to confuse you because you are a beginner you don't know about it that's why you're talking about that i'm learning data structure dsa algorithm like a lot of things you guys talk about but it's all comes down to the same thing so try to understand what you are building once you start doing that everything will become clear to all of you guys you have to pick one language and if you really want to become a blockchain developer then javascript should be your first choice it's a multi purpose language you can utilize in all the web2 technology as well as web3 technology if you look at all the providers which we use as a web3 developer for getting data from the blockchain if you talk about the packages if you talk about the ether js web3 module all of these packages are written in javascript which you can utilize to connect with the blockchain and get the data and you can design your own data based on that so you have to be good in javascript and once you be good in javascript the entire development would be very easy for you very easy for you so so this is how you have to focus on your learning so pick a language understand everything give 2 months don't need to be master just understand the important structure which is there and start building project when you go to build project you going to find that okay you can do a lot better so you will improve gradually you can never be good in one go like you will one day you will complete the course and you will think that i am the best developer in data structure that's not going to be happen you will you will learn when you will start developing that's how the experience you will gain and that's how your understanding will come up so that's the way you have to think okay those who are telling you that you have to focus on dsa dsa go and solve question in lead code don't focus on that you are a beginner the first priority you should have to understand that what is blockchain pick a programming language learn about it build a project when you start building the project after that you will come to the performance there you going to focus on data structure 
So generally, data structure we use heavily when we build in a large scale application where we have to build a profit algorithm which can handle millions of users. So you are not in that stage. Your priority should to build project and understand whatever you are building because most of you have this problem that you build project but you don't understand. You guys have designed the contract but you haven't understood that what exactly happening. Some of you don't know how to install the packages and you're talking about data structure. So you have to know these basic things. Whenever you are following any project, once you complete that, sit and try to understand everything. Give one big. After completing the project, just give one big and it will clear your doubt. Once you clear that, try to build similar type of project. Try to add one more feature because when you will add one more feature into the project and that way you will learn and that way you will learn. So this should be your approach. This should be your approach if you really want to learn things fast and don't be confused about this data structure algorithm. These are the heavy name, but it's come down to building project and who can deliver the project as a developer. So that's the thing you have to keep in mind. Okay. Once you will take this approach, it will help you a lot. Pick one thing, focus on that and gradually things becomes very easy for you. If you try to combine so many things at once, then obviously you're going to create a mess. So that's the thing I want to suggest you that focus on one thing. Don't need to be focused on DSA, 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 build project. When you start building the project, you will understand that what you are utilizing and now you have to focus on those things and improve on that. So that's the only thing I would suggest about this DSA. I hope you guys have got an idea that how you have to take this DSA in your life and how you can utilize it in your project. So with that, I'm ending this video. Hope you guys have liked it. If you still have any confusion, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.